Hello everybody. Uh, this video is intended to be uh, an update on the layout that I've moved from my shed up into my loft. But before I take you up there and show you how far I've got, I'd like to thank everybody at YouTube, the whole team, for making it possible for so many people in so many countries around the world to share their ideas. And I'd like to also thank all those people that have posted tutorials uh, that I've watched with great interest and I've learned an enormous amount. So thank you all very much indeed. And now I'll take you upstairs and uh, you can see how far I've got with mine. And you might even see a few of your ideas. This is where it is, up the stairs here. And as you'll see, I am not a perfectionist. I have a complete model of everything. But if I like it, I buy it. And uh, we start off here with the White Cliffs of Dover. And around here, I still have the station to build. And the, the silver train in the back there is actually the uh, Indian Pacific train in Australia. Then we have the fairground over there. Or circus, I should say. Circus there. And the road scenes here. This is supposed to be a harbour with some uh, old trains which um, tourists go on. Like they're running in a minute. And then for the train spotters, we have a little garden there. Over here, the beginnings of some train sheds. And I have a distribution station there for 24 volt electricity with barbed wire around it because it's high voltage. And to control this seaside train, I have I've built this box, which is the radio station and a nightclub. And the controls for the turnouts are on the top there. And then over here we have a fairground and a cable car going up the mountain. Then around here we have a canal basin. And I love these buildings I've built from scratch. That one is a copy of a bonded warehouse at Starbridge in the West Midlands. And of course we have the Memorial Flight, the Spitfire, the Lancaster and the Hurricane. Well, the Cape Cod buildings are scratch built and uh, we have a long cable car now but the Brawa cable car the motor is very very noisy and I did buy a new motor just thinking it was maybe just the motor that was wrong but no it was more than that. Alright then in the, uh, the fairground we have uh, this um, jungle train ride which is uh, running around there now and we also have the flying chairs so that's uh, that's all a bit of fun as well that's the uh, the main street of the town which uh, is called Fulchester and that's because my wife and her best friend are keen fans of the Viz magazine so anybody else that is might uh, might recognize the name there
that's the Indian Pacific. Once in Adelaide across to uh, Melbourne and Sydney. I've been on it as far as uh, Adelaide. You can see I've still got a lot to do but my next building project is going to be a lighthouse at the top of there so, uh, to warn the ships off those rocks there. There's a, another hobby of mine, radio controlled boats but they haven't been in the water for quite a while now. But it's great fun. Right now I'd like to show you uh, how I went about building the scenery. I had that gap to fill and I used a com combination of methods, woven cardboard, uh, plaster of Paris, tumble dryer fluff, all stuck on and then painted. And then when it was all uh, ready, that, that I placed it in position, but I had a gap between the two pieces of scenery, which I then filled with plaster of Paris on cardboard and I made it into waterfall using a uh, clear silicon spread out on some greaseproof paper and then placed in position and glued. I put a grass around it because it's uh, obviously where there's water there's going to be grease, uh, grass. That left me with this little triangle to fill so I got myself a piece of cardboard the same size put some tumble, uh, tumble dryer fluff around the edge to make like a bank and cut some corduroy uh, to make it look like a ploughed field which I then painted and then added some uh, banking or some fencing a bit of grass around the outside and then placed it in position to make it like a little farmyard I also wanted some uh, quick cheap conifer trees for part of the layout, so I bought this uh, very cheap, just before Christmas, very cheap uh, Christmas tree with 50 tips and uh, cut them off, sprinkle them with a bit of leaf uh, from uh, Scenics and there they are at the back of the layout, so uh, they look fine from there. Next is the White Cliffs of Dover, uh, which I did in a very similar manner with uh, plaster of Paris and uh, tumble dryer fluff and when I built the uh, lighthouse I'll try and show you how I went about that. <laughs> 